Hi guys, welcome back. So let's go ahead and simplify this exponential expression. How do I do it? Now the first step is to go ahead and make sure you know that 2 is also 2 to the 1 and 3 is also 3 to the 1. You need to distribute this exponent and you need to distribute it to every single one. So do not forget that 2 to the 1 is actually part of the expression. So look what's going to happen. 1 times negative 2 is going to be negative 2. 6 times negative 2 is going to be negative 12. 2 times negative 2 is going to be negative 4. And then I'm going to do the same to the bottom. So this is a good way to put the ones so you don't forget the numbers because sometimes the students do the letters but not the numbers. And then this is going to be 10 and then negative 3 times negative 2 is going to be 6. Awesome. I'm almost done. Anytime you have negative exponents, the trick is to move them from the top to the bottom or from the bottom to the top to switch the sign. So look what's going to happen. If I move this 2 to the negative 2 to the bottom, it's going to be positive. The same is going to happen with the A and the B. Now, 3 to the negative 2, if I move it to the top, is actually going to switch the sign. A to the 10 and B to the 6 are positive, so I shouldn't do anything about that. So this is just a quick uh, trick just to avoid doing the subtractions and all those things. So look what's going to happen. I'm ready to finalize my answer. 3 squared is going to be 9, 2 squared is going to be 4, A to the 12 and A10 is going to be 22, and B4 and B6 is going to be B10. And look, my beautiful answer. Please don't forget to watch our other videos. Also remember, you can Skype with us. And also, thanks so much for learning.